Hey guys, so today I thought it would be really funny to go through all of my old primary school workbooks. I've got them here in front of me and there are heaps of them. So I'm just going to flick through, see what I find. There's sure to be some embarrassing stuff in here. Maybe some trips down memory lane. There's six books in front of me and they are massive. So I'm interested to see what exactly is in these because I literally haven't looked at them since I was like 12 and I'm 19. So this could be very interesting. <laughs> All right, so I've just picked a random one to start. I'm gonna start with this one. A lot of the books look like this. This one is my inquiry book, which I have no idea what that means if I'm completely honest with you. For the most part, it looks pretty empty. Oh, I tried to draw a ladybug and then obviously I did a half assed job and quit halfway through. Story of my life. Alright, so that one was kind of boring, so I'm going to move on to this one, which feels a lot fuller. It is. It's also my inquiry journal, so that another one must have been my second inquiry journal, whereas this one was my first one. And you can tell that... Oh, I don't know if you can see this on the camera. I really hope you can. On the side. Oh, you kind of can't see it. Just here. Like, when it was cool to, like, write on the, like, spines of your book, I wrote, Love. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 11 year old me being so deep see again even the first page i didn't even finish the question mark half ass job again <laughs> oh my god i actually remember doing this it's oh my god i remember doing this we were learning about laws around the world and we had to create our own country and my country was called Quizlandia and we had to design like the way the country looked and a flag and what type of um, country it was. Also, can we talk about the fact that I just loved like headings and stuff? That was so funny. Oh my God, this is so nostalgic. So I had a country called Quizlandia. This was its flag. And then this was, this is how it was spelled, Quizlandia. And this was the what's it called the map so we had oh my god <laughs> we had babelicious <laughs> sudaco which i think i was, just looked at the word sudoku and was like i'll just make that sound different um la la lushi that was when they had la la loopsy dolls i believe and i was like well can't think of anything central city very original ning suck and clockier with Gump Forest, oh, Forest Gump, Gump Forest, <laughs> and Baby Bay, which I'm surprised isn't in Babelicious, to be honest with you. What was I thinking? Okay, so my government was a monarchy, apparently. My monarch, I have a queen in my country, her name is Masilla. She has a beautiful white horse named Liliana, as well as her Dugon named Chucky. Isn't a Dugon one of them? Like things that looks like a seal. Was I thinking dragon? Why would she have a dugon? <laughs> what on earth was I thinking? <laughs> I'm just reading. So I've got the list of my laws, right? Cruelty for animals, fine, 550. That sounds fine. And like all of this stuff. And then down the bottom, you have to be over 59 to ride an old person motorbike. Okay, um, they aren't called motorbikes for a start, so I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my god. <laughs> then we went on to learn about biodiversity. Like, my school was doing the right thing. Did anyone else do this in their primary school? We used to have to do three columns, know, want to know, and learnt. Which I think is actually a really smart way to do it. If I, they did that in high school, I would have got a way better ATAR than what I got, let's be real. All right, moving on to the next one. This is my writing journal. And we had to put like our hand on there. I wonder if my hand's the same size. Is it bad that my hand is still the same size as it was when I was 11? So this was essentially like our English book. So we would write inspirations and we would write stories um, all in here, story starters. This was my favorite part of any school like I have always loved English I've always loved writing stories the cheese smelt like old socks <laughs> yep, 
that. <laughs> right, moving on. This was my learning journal. And I remember I coloured in this page. Like, can you see that? So that it said the same thing as the front page behind it. Like, I don't know if you can see what I mean. But, like, I used pens, coloured this in so it matched this behind it. And I thought I was so cool. <laughs> Oh, this is cute because I was it was called Mod 4 and it says the Mod 4 vision is on our road to success We make a solemn vow to make the most of now. Oh That is really cute. Oh <laughs> My God <laughs> So in art we had to make like paper mache people and I decided to make mine <laughs> A swimmer look at that I think I actually still have this oh my god I'm gonna go see if I still have this oh my god guys I still have it I still have it <laughs> so this was the girl that I created and it's got my name and the class I was in and you can see it's so I made her swimsuit the same color as her skin but she's like got this pink swimsuit on and then I put a little towel over her shoulder and I made her hair because like, you know, when you get out of the water and like your hair's kind of like beachy, I tried to give her that look. Her face is a little bit creepy. Not good. <laughs> oh, I even gave her an anklet. The lengths I went to for this little swimmer girl. Oh, excellent model, Maddie. Thank you. She is not the most excellent thing I've ever seen in my life, but I'll take the compliment. <laughs> oh my god, I totally forgot to show you the goggles. Look, <laughs> so she's got goggles on. This one's got like a cover on it, but the cover off of this one fell off. Oh my god, and then the sand, like, oh, I can't believe I still have this. I remember this as well. In primary school, we had to like rate how we felt with the stuff that we did. So, oh, this poor girl, I rated it in the middle and I drew this like lion on it which I don't know why I did that so I'm really sorry to this like beach girl like you're cool and all and I really like your anklet <laughs> sorry so I really hope you enjoyed this video it turns out that the last book was like actually fully empty so there's no point in showing you like it at all because like, there's nothing in there but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you had a bit of a laugh along with me. There was some pretty ridiculous stuff in those books, but also like it kind of nostalgic to look back on. Like I completely forgot that I made this. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>